Hi, and welcome to a video on how to make an assessment template. Now, the first thing you want to know about creating assessments and assessment templates is generally you want to do that in resources. Now, you can access resources through your personal school resources, this tab at the top, or if you have a group, for example, our Math Collaborative, if you're in a group, your materials aren't really called materials, they're called resources. And this also works for converting old tests and quizzes to the new assessment types or also for creating templates. When you create a template in resources, you have some options that you don't have when you create an assessment in a class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder, I'm going to turn it yellow and I'm going to call this assessment templates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating templates for entrance tickets, exit tickets, and formative assessments. Those are the three templates I know I want right now. So I'm going to do the first thing. I'm going to add a resource. And this new um, kind of aqua colored template is the one you want to start using. You want to stop using this grid green puzzle piece because we've been told that that's going to eventually disappear. So we're going to use this assessment template and we're going to call this entrance ticket template. Um, and I'm going to leave the max points for this one at 10. This can be changed, so just pick something that's reasonable. For an entrance ticket or an exit ticket, um, that should be fine. So I'm going to create that and what you're doing now is you're going to set up your template. So you can create instructions. I'm just going to do that for now. You can create settings that are going to be the same for any entrance ticket. So does it have a time limit? Um, are the questions randomly ordered? Are we going to show possible points for each question? I don't want to do that for my entrance tickets and exit tickets because I don't want students focusing on the points. Um, these things, um, flagging questions, eliminating answers, all of these things I use more for formative or summative assessments. So I'm going to leave these all set at no because for an entrance ticket I just want a quick check of understanding. And then um, am I going to allow my students to view the results after an attempt is submitted? I'm going to say yes because I do want them to see. This is something we would often look over in class collectively as a group and look at the data. And I'm just going to let my kids take it one time, although you could set it for more times. Um, so I'm going to save that. And once you have those settings changed, you can go to the top and you can add questions. Now, one question I know that I want is an honor pledge at the end. So I always create a multiple choice question for that. And I type in the entire honor pledge for the kids. But to keep the video short, I'll just put honor pledge here. And I'm going to get rid of two of the choices and I'm going to select this one. I have followed instructions and the honor pledge. And you can of course put any wording you want in and I always like to put something funny like um, I need to discuss how honesty works with my teacher and parent. Okay, so I always give them two choices to kind of um, make sure that they're not just clicking away and then I always select I have followed instructions and the honor pledge on this one. Leave that alone. We want exact match and um, once you have that, okay, and we are going to preview this. So this, remember, it's just a template. So this is something that we are going to use every time we make an entrance tickets. We're going to start with this and that way we don't have to type in the instructions 
or the honor pledge. And I think the only thing here is, right, the honor pledge. And if we wanted to review, we could review it, but we're going to finish that. Okay? All right. Now, once we have that created, now we can go to our assessment templates. And what you notice here is that entrance ticket template is in our folder. Now, what's nice is you now have a copy to option here. So we can copy this and we can just copy it right here. And now instead of an entrance ticket template, I can edit this and I can call it an exit ticket template. All right. And once I have this, I can edit this one and I can call it my formative assessment template. Okay. So you can, oops, I just modified that one. Um, but you get the idea. So you can make one template and then create several different templates and then you can modify each template to fit whatever need you have. Now, once you have a formative assessment template, now what we can do is we can copy to somewhere else. So if I wanted to copy this into my unit six, for example, polynomials and quadrilaterals, and I want a formative assessment for that unit, I'm going to copy it there. And now if I go back to my resources and I go into my algebra run resources unit six, what I'm going to see is that formative assessment template. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that and I'm going to call it formative assessment number one. And that is for unit six. Okay, so essentially, and I can change that to 100 points if I want to. So this is a good um, habit to get into. It saves you time, it saves you energy, and allows you to very quickly kind of set up the assessments that you want um, to create with the Schoology assessment tool. I hope this video helped. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I would be happy to work with you.